languages especially pedagogy of english language so we discussed 10 different units and we have also discussed uh, uh, what are the areas that are to be focused and in this video we are going to discuss one of the important areas that is a uh, language curriculum language curriculum is one of the important areas in our examination we all know that there is a chance of asking six to eight questions from this unit okay aru nundi enemidi questions manaki ee area nundi adagadaniki avakasham undi so now what we are going to do discuss is we are going to discuss the basic concepts related to the language curriculum language curriculum ki sambandhichi basic concepts manam discuss cheyabothunnamu so before we start the language curriculum unit i am going to uh, tell you some of the important areas so if you look at the previous examination uh, questions are mostly asked on the concept of curriculum in general like the definition of the curriculum scope of the curriculum okay rendit paina questions adagadam gamaninchochu and the second important area in this unit is the differences between curriculum and syllabus this is second area that we need to focus on and the third one is different theories there are there behind the construction of or designing the curriculum theories cheptamu and we also need to learn the curriculum development process and curriculum implementation and uh, we also need to discuss the concept of curriculum design so these are the areas that we need to focus on this unit curriculum language curriculum and one more important area that has to be covered in this area is the recommendations of different curriculum frameworks position papers related to language curriculum like the national curriculum frameworks state curriculum frameworks position papers of ncert or scert and also the recommendations of the ncfte okay national curriculum framework for teacher education and also the recommendations of ncf for teaching languages okay so even it your recommendations language curriculum ela undali ivanni recommend chesnavi and we also need to learn about the recommendations of rt right to education act 2010 and we also need to learn one more important thing that is national education policy 2020 nep 2020 recommendations curriculum ki sambandhinche unnaya kuda ee unit lo baganga manam discuss cheyalasi untundi so dear friends these are the important areas in the concept of language curriculum but in this video i am going to explain you the basic concepts related to the language curriculum so curriculum ante enti language curriculum features enti and even differences between curriculum and syllabus syllabus ki curriculum ki differences enti what is the scope of the curriculum okay curriculum yokka scope enti ee amshalu discuss chestu we will also talk about some of the important questions from the earlier examinations gatha examinations lo curriculum paina em questions adigaro manam discuss cheyabothunnam so we all know the etymological meaning of the word curriculum curriculum yokka etymological meaning ento telusu manandarki dani manam tarvata discuss cheddam but uh, let us look at the meaning of curriculum in general okay general ga curriculum ante ento manu discuss cheddam i think you might have uh, completed your bed bachelor of education course so as a part of your bed let us see what has happened and what you have done so em jarigindi okay meeru ela a course ni complete chesaru ok sari manam recollect cheskundam first you have applied for the bed entrance examination so bed entrance examination ki apply chesaru after completion of your graduation that is the first step after completion of uh, the examination you have taken admission into the bed course bed course lo ki admission teeskunnaru after taking admission what have you done you have chosen two methods from many methods okay chaala methods untai and uh, you were asked to take two methods okay rendu methods meer teeskunnaru for example i have taken my social methodology and english methodology so that is one step after taking two methodologies i have learned many other subjects apart from these two methodologies so we to padaga nenu inka konni subjects kuda chadivaru like philosophy or we have work psychology and some other subjects are also uh, studied as a part of that bed so i have read some concepts and as a part of this bed i have to attend nearly i had to attend nearly 80% of the classes so 80% of attendance was required to 
uh, get through that BED examination. And 100% attendance is required for practical teaching. Uh, that's called the teaching practice and Pilustunta Manam. So that was also one of the criteria. And apart from that 100% attendance in teaching practice, I was asked to write some examination. I had to go through some kind of assessment. So examination lo konni pass exams raadam dantlo pass avadam jarigindi. And then finally, I was awarded the certificate in Bachelor of Education BED. Apur certificate ikada na kivadam jarigindi. So if you look at all this process. The entire things went systematically. Chala systematic ga podam manang gaman in chuchu. So, from the date of taking admission till the time of obtaining a degree. So, trivariki manam certificate ponde varaki. All the things that have been done by a student is known as curriculum. Mari, apart from admission, this kuna date nundi. Course end I date varaki. Student chase it vanti prati activity kuda. Then chata decide che birth nante that is curriculum. Okay, so curriculum is a comprehensive design. Curriculum ni manam comprehensive design and chep kuntamu. We call it a comprehensive design because it includes every activity done by the student and every activity done by the teacher. So teacher, student, classroom lo leda ko course lo chese twenty prati activity ni kuda manam curriculum gaane treat chaya si unto di. So this is the general introduction to the concept of curriculum. Idi curriculum ka samandinchi general introduction ka chep kochu. So you might have seen the meaning of the term curriculum. Curriculum ni twenty term ki meaning tells you so we all know that the word curriculum was taken from the latin word okay it was taken from the latin word which is the word curare okay so the meaning of the word curare is a latin word the meaning of the word curare is a race course a race course or it also it is also called a runway on which one runs to achieve the goal. Okay, goal. So it is a runway on which one runs to achieve a goal is the general meaning of the word curriculum or curare. So this is the general meaning of the word curare. What is the meaning of the Latin word curare? The meaning of the Latin word curare is a race course or a runway on which one runs to achieve the goal. But when it comes to the teaching learning process, when it comes to the education, so my education vision question was Sarki, what is curriculum? Curriculum is a plan. Curriculum is an instructional plan or curriculum is an educational program which assists the learner to realize the goal. Okay, to realize the goal or to reach the aspirations of one's life. So we can simply define the term curriculum as curriculum is an instructional plan or an educational program which assists a learner <coughs> to achieve the goal or to achieve the aspirations of life. So this is a one general term that gives the meaning of the word curriculum. Curriculum yoka general meaning ka chep ko chikada. So here uh, simply we can say Curriculum is a one comprehensive plan or we can say it is an overall plan. So it is an overall plan which includes whatever the student do or whatever the teacher does as a part of the teaching learning process or as a part of the entire teaching learning program. Okay, teaching learning program lo, okay, teacher chase it one prati activity, student chase prati activity kuda. Curriculum lo baganga manan chep kuntamu. So that is the reason curriculum is known as an overall plan. Curriculum ni manam overall plan ga chep kochu. So simply, what is curriculum? Curriculum ante inti. So curriculum is an overall plan. Okay. Curriculum is an overall plan which provides the learners with planned learning environment. Okay. So it is an overall plan which provides the learners with planned learning environment, guided experiences. Okay, it provides them with guided experiences. 
सो दिस इज द जनरल मीनिंग आफ् द टर्म करिकुलम करिकुलम या जनरल मीन मन ओके सो लेट लुक द मीनिंग आर् द डेफिनेशन आफ द करिकुलम अकॉर्ंग टू कनिंग हम अकॉर्ंग टू कनिंग हम वाट करिकुलम करिकुलम अंटे सो अकॉर्ंग टू हिम करिकुलम ईज ए टूल करिकुलम ईज ए टूल इन द हाँ आफ द आर्टिस्ट Who is this artist? The artist is nothing but the teacher. So, curriculum is a tool in the hands of a teacher, and uh, to mould his material. What is the material of the teacher? The material of the teacher is nothing but the pupil or the learner, according to his ideal. What is the ideal? Ideal is nothing but the objective in his studio, and that studio is nothing but the school. So here. the artist teacher is compared to an artist and a student is compared to the material and the ideals are compared to the objectives and school is compared to a studio so this is the beautiful definition that is given to curriculum by cunningham idi cunningham curriculum kichinatvanti definition ga cheptuntam so according to cunningham language curriculum or curriculum is a tool in the hands of the artist who is that artist that artist is nothing but teacher and the teacher uses that tool to mold his material what is the material material is nothing but the learner or the pupil according to his ideals what are his ideals he molds the students according to the objectives and where does he do all these things he does all these things in his studio and what is the studio of the teacher it is nothing but the school so this is the simply the definition of curriculum according to cunningham cunningham prakaram idi simple definition ga cheptochu and here according to the secondary education commission secondary education commission has defined that language curriculum or curriculum does not mean only the academic subjects taught in the school many of us think that curriculum is nothing but the subjects taught in the school but remember the subjects that are taught in the school is not at all the curriculum that is syllabus okay the subjects that are taught in the school are nothing but the syllabus so it mentioned that curriculum does not mean the academic subjects taught in the school but in includes the total experience that a child receives in a school so total experience are nothing but curricular co curricular and extra curricular activities those three activities are included in curriculum so that is the reason one of the basic principles of curriculum construction is the principle of totality of experiences an cheptuntam principle of totality of experiences is one of the important principles of curriculum development so it curriculum should have a total of experiences or totality of experiences it means it should include the curricular area co curricular area even the extra curricular area so all these areas are to be included in this curriculum let us take one simple example uh, for example one student enters class 1 class 1 lo enter avutadandi so as a part of that class 1 the child learns many things chaala vishayalu nerchukuntadu so the first of all the child learns how to greet others like uh, the child learns uh, wishing the people or greeting or introducing himself or introducing his members of the family or uh, introducing some other things so just he uh, learns how to speak politely or in a formal manner and after that he learns how to frame words or how to identify the letters and how to frame simple sentences and how to do some mathematical operations and apart from that the child also learns how to play with the friends the child learns how to speak with his classmates how to interact with the teacher so all these things are learnt in the classroom and as a same thing the child also learns how to sing songs how to sing rhymes and all these things are included so here this is nothing but the curriculum here the curriculum included totality of experiences totality of experiences it is not just simply the subjects taught in the classroom classroom lo teach chese atvanti vanni kuda syllabus avtayi but totality of experience anni kuda em avtayi that is curriculum and this is a definition given by the secondary education commission 
ओके एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज द करिकुलम डेफिनेशन गिवन बाय हांस अकॉर्डिंग टू हांस करिकुलम इज दैट विच इज टॉट टू द स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो विच इज टॉट टू द स्टूडेंट्स इज कॉल्ड करिकुलम अकॉर्डिंग टू हांस इट इज मोर देन रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग okay it's not simply reading and writing it includes practices activities industry vocation and also acquiring knowledge so according to him it is nothing but all round development of the child okay not just reading and writing so according to hans curriculum is not just the reading and writing it includes all the practices that are done by the learner activities industry acquiring knowledge all these things are included in the definition of curriculum or this is the scope of curriculum according to hans okay hans prakar me the definition ga cheptochu manam according to crow and crow how did crow and crow uh, define curriculum mari curriculum ki crow and crow is the one definition senti so according to him according to them the curriculum includes all the learners experiences inside or outside the classroom okay inside and outside the classroom that are included in a program which has been devised to help him developmentally emotionally socially spiritually and morally so this is nothing but the all round development of the child and uh, this also focused it also said that curriculum happens inside the school and outside the school and it focuses on several kinds of developments so these are the definitions given to the curriculum simply we can understand curriculum curriculum is a plan that provides learning opportunities for the students that provides them planned learning experiences guided experiences etc and we can say it is an overall plan we call it overall and it is a comprehensive design comprehensive design ga cheptamu so remember these things okay overall plan ani cheptunamu comprehensive design ani kuda cheptamu overall plan comprehensive design or we can say instructional plan in an educational program instructional plan in an educational program ani kuda cheptochu so this is about the introduction to the concept of the curriculum so let us discuss the uh, main points related to this introduction din samajh the main points iskunna appudu curriculum is an instructional plan in an educational program which assists the learners to achieve their goals and aspirations in the life that is a simple thing and curriculum is called a comprehensive design comprehensive design antam dinni curriculum is known as a comprehensive design because it includes every activity that is uh, done by the student from the date of admission till the date of exiting from the course ఒక కోర్స్ లో అడ్మిట్ అయినప్పటి నుండి కోర్స్ చివరి వరకు స్టూడెంట్ చేసేటువంటి ప్రతి యాక్టివిటీ కూడా కరికులం లో పాట్ అవుతుంది దట్ ఈస్ ద రీజన్ వీ కాల్ ఇట్ అ కాంప్రహెన్సివ్ డిజైన్ కాంప్రహెన్సివ్ డిజైన్ గా చెప్పుకోవడం జరుగుతుంది అండ్ హియర్ కరికులం ఈజ్ నాట్ జస్ట్ ద సబ్జెక్ట్స్ దట్ ఆర్ టాట్ okay the subjects that are taught is known as uh, the syllabus but here it is more than the subjects it is a totality of experiences and this curriculum takes place inside the classroom and also outside of the classroom inside and outside of the classroom so these are the main points that we have discussed so far and apart from these points we have also discussed some of the definitions that are given to the curriculum curriculum ki sambandhinchina konni definitions ni kuda manam discuss cheyadam jarigindi so overall we can summarize the points like this ipudu varaki manam cheptunna mottam points ni manam ee rakamga summarize cheyochu the very first point curriculum is a plan that provides learning opportunities for the students this is point that we have discussed already so it is a plan and this plan provides the learners with learning opportunities nechukodaniki avakashalu kalpinchetvandi plan ga cheptochu and it is a uh, the thing that provides the students with guided experiences so the students are guided with a variety of experiences curricular co curricular extra curricular experiences are provided to the students that's the reason we can say it provides guided experiences it provides them 
planned learning environment planned learning environment so it makes sure uh, it makes sure that the learning environment is planned pratidi kuda planned ga undela chestundandi and uh, it also provides them planned instruction instruction kuda planned ga undela chustundi so these are the points that we need to remember so it is an organized plan of course that outlines the objectives and learning experiences this is a simple uh, concept the meaning and definition of the curriculum and uh, let us also discuss the scope of curriculum curriculum yokka scope gurinchi manam ippudu discuss cheddam if you look at the scope of curriculum curriculum includes many things we have uh, discussed that it is a comprehensive plan or a comprehensive design and cheptunnam why do we call syllabus curriculum a comprehensive design enduku curriculum ni comprehensive design and cheptunnam it is called a comprehensive design because it uh, begins from the assessment of the needs of the learner assessment of the needs of the learner ga cheptunnam so akkad nundi start avutundi we identify the learner and then we assess what their needs are okay learners ni identify cheyadam vala needs ento telusukovadam akka nundi start avutundi then formulation or the development of the objectives after identifying the learners and after assessing their needs we need to formulate the goals and objectives based on the needs so our needs sadharanga next em chestunnamu we are developing the goals and objectives and in order to reach the, those goals and objectives we plan for syllabus okay so making plans for syllabus is also a part of curriculum and uh, selection of teaching approaches and uh, methods that is also a part of the curriculum in order to execute the syllabus in order to teach that syllabus we have to uh, design some approaches and methods and then decision about the assessment procedures and criteria so mari uh, after completion of the teaching we should know whether they have achieved those objectives or not for that we uh, decide one assessment procedure or assessment criteria so this is the process of the learning and this is the uh, the things that are included in the curriculum ivanni curriculum lo include so chudandi ikkada assessment of the needs of the learners learners identify cheyadam nundi modal pedthe assessment varaki pratidi kuda curriculum lo untundi that is the reason we call it an overall plan and we also call it an about a, compre a comprehensive design comprehensive design ga cheptuntam so this is uh, the point we need to understand and uh, here most of the time we get a doubt regarding uh, the two terms that is curriculum and syllabus curriculum and syllabus so are these two things same or different mari curriculum and syllabus rendu kuda okatena renditiki veru veru lakshanalu unnaya asle enti ipudu discuss cheddam so many people think that these two are same but literally these two are not at all same there are many differences between these two simply uh, so far we discussed that uh, curriculum is a comprehensive design an cheptunnam and it is called an overall plan an cheptunnam so, but uh, here syllabus is nothing but a list of a specific list of teaching items a specific list of teaching items ga cheptuntam a specific list of teaching items for example let us take class 10 class 10 iskundam as a part of the class 10 one student learns some subjects like telugu hindi english mathematics physical science and uh, so biological science social studies art and culture health and physical education and uh, computer and education value education all these are the subjects that are studied by one learner oka learner ivanni subjects kuda nerchukuntuntadu so all these subjects come under curriculum avanni kuda curriculum kindiki vastayi and if you uh, take one specific subject english that english has its own syllabus that means it has its own specific list of teaching items 
it has some prose lessons it has some poems it has some grammar items it has some vocabulary reading exercises writing exercises etc so those list of teaching items is nothing but syllabus and all the subjects that come under are called curriculum so and lo unnatvanti subjects na nitni kuda manam curriculum ga cheptunte oko subject lo unde specific list of teaching items ni syllabus ga cheptochu and we can say syllabus is a part of curriculum syllabus anedi curriculum lo oka part ga cheptochu and uh, this is narrower in sense it is comprehensive because it includes from the course every activity from the beginning of the course till the end of the course so this is the basic difference between these two okay and uh, according to dubin and allstein okay dubin and allstein they said that these two people said that dubin and allstein said that curriculum provides a statement of aims so curriculum provides a statement of aims ఒక స్టేట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎయిమ్స్ మనం ఏం సాధించాలో చెప్పేటువంటిది కరికులం అని చెప్పారు వీళ్ళు అండ్ దే ఆల్సో సెట్ దాట్ ద సిలబస్ స్పెసిఫైస్ ద కాంటెంట్ టు బి టాట్ మనం చెప్పబోయేటువంటి కాంటెంట్ ని సిలబస్ గా చెప్పారు డుబిన్ అండ్ ఆల్ స్టెయిన్ డుబిన్ అండ్ ఆల్ స్టెయిన్ ఇద్దరు కూడా సిలబస్ ని కరికులం ని ఈ విధంగా డిఫైన్ చేశారు సో అకార్డింగ్ టు బోత్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ కరికులం ప్రొవైడ్స్ ఏ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎయిమ్ it provides a statement of aim and syllabus specifies the content for teaching okay syllabus emo content ni specify chestundi ani chepparu so that is the difference between curriculum and syllabus let us take one simple example here the curriculum can be compared to a house curriculum ni oka house ga compare cheyachu so it is larger structure in that house manam danni house ni curriculum nu teesukunte the how the house has certain rooms or some specific places one room is provided for uh, what uh, cooking and one room is uh, allotted for reading one room is for sleeping and one room is for having lunch or dinner etc so here the house is a curriculum and the small rooms that are there in that house can be compared to the syllabus so dantlo unde 20 small portions ni manam dento compare chesukochu we can compare it with the syllabus okay syllabus ga compare chesukochu and here curriculum curriculum is a, a thing which provides the learning concrete okay concrete learning ni educational program ni కాంక్రీట్ గా చేసే ఒక ప్లాన్ గా మనం కరికులం ని చెప్పుకోవచ్చు అండ్ కరికులం టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద క్లాస్ రూమ్ అవుట్ సైడ్ ద క్లాస్ రూమ్ బట్ హియర్ సిలబస్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద క్లాస్ రూమ్ బికాస్ ఇట్ డీల్స్ విత్ ఓన్లీ ద టీచింగ్ ఆఫ్ సమ్ ఐటమ్స్ ఓకే టీచింగ్ ఆఫ్ సమ్ టీచింగ్ ఐటమ్స్ అవుతుంది సో దట్ ఈస్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ద సిలబస్ అండ్ కరికులం కరికులం మరియు సిలబస్ యొక్క మీనింగ్ గా చెప్పుకోవచ్చు అండ్ this is the table that tells you or that gives you a detail information about the differences between syllabus and curriculum so renditiki madhilo differences niche table ga cheppochu here curriculum is an overall and comprehensive plan okay it is an overall plan that provides the learning opportunities for the students and it is a comprehensive design which includes everything that takes place in an education program that's the reason we call it overall or comprehensive whereas syllabus is a list of specific teaching items it is a list of specific teaching items for example the list of teaching items in english is called its syllabus the list of teaching items in mathematics is called mathematics syllabus and the list of teaching items in physics is called is syllabus dani kuda syllabus ani cheptuntamu so it includes only the list of specific teaching items right that is the first difference and the second one it is a broad in nature it is broad in nature because it includes every aspect of teaching learning process like uh, the objectives methods experiences tlm evaluation procedure and criteria everything is a part of curriculum that's the reason we call it a broad curriculum ni manam broad ga cheppukodam jarugutundi whereas syllabus is narrower in sense it is a limited scope it has a limited scope because it deals with a particular course or a particular student 
ఒక స్టూడెంట్ లేదా ఒక కాంటెంట్ తో డీల్ చేస్తుంది కాబట్టి లిమిటెడ్ గా చెప్పుకోవచ్చు దట్ ఈస్ ద సెకండ్ డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ద టూ టర్మ్స్ కరికులం అండ్ సిలబస్ రెండింటికి మధ్య ఉన్నటువంటి డిఫరెన్సెస్ గా చెప్పుకోవచ్చు మనం అండ్ ద థర్డ్ వన్ it tells us everything a learner needs to do while on the course of study uh, we have already discussed that curricular co curricular extra curricular all those things come under curriculum but syllabus tells us what is to be learnt on a single subject in a syllabus oka subject sambandhinchi e nerchukuntaru cheppede syllabus ga cheppochu single course of study ga cheppukuntaru ఓకే ఆర్ ఒక సబ్జెక్ట్ కి సంబంధించి చెప్పుకుంటాం దిస్ ఇస్ ద థర్డ్ డిఫరెన్స్ ఓకే ఫ్రెండ్స్ గుర్తు పెట్టుకోండి ఇక్కడ వాట్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఎ లర్నర్ హ్యాస్ టు డూ ఓకే లర్నర్ చేసే ప్రతి యాక్టివిటీ కూడా కరికులం అయితే కేవలం ఒక సబ్జెక్ట్ కి సంబంధించి నేర్చుకునే అంశాలు మాత్రమే అక్కడ సిలబస్ లో ఉంటాయి అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ లార్జ్లీ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేటివ్ ఇన్ నేచర్ ఓకే ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఇన్ ద హ్యాండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద టీచర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేటివ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డిజైన్ బై గవర్నమెంట్స్ ఆర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డిజైన్ బై సమ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్ ఎట్సెట్రా but here syllabus is purely academic in nature academic ga cheppochu this is administrative and that is academic in nature and here it involves the activities of the students inside and outside the classroom we have already discussed that curriculum takes place inside the classroom as well as outside the classroom whereas syllabus takes place only inside the classroom it is useful only in the classroom okay that is the uh, fifth difference and it is not available for every teacher curriculum is not available for every teacher whereas syllabus is an essential tool in the hands of the teacher because the teacher has to deal with the syllabus only but here teacher doesn't have anything to do with the curriculum curriculum sambandhi teacher chethilo em undadu and here it is the base or foundation of education okay idu oka base or foundation ga cheptuntam curriculum is the base or foundation and here syllabus is compared to the superstructure or the actual building for example if you want to build the actual building oka construction actual building construct cheyalante what is required em avasaram untundi so it is required the what a superstructure if the, want to construct the superstructure we need a base or foundation thus that base or foundation is nothing but curriculum a base or foundation ne manam ikkada curriculum ga cheppukodam jarugutundi curriculum ga cheppukuntamu so this is a, the difference between the syllabus and curriculum curriculum ki syllabus ki madhyam undavanti difference ga cheppochu and uh, many times questions were asked on the differences between curriculum and syllabus ee rendintiki madhyala differences gurinchi chaala saarlu examination lo questions adigaru so we have to remember these points in detail ivanni kuda manam gurtu pettukunte examination lo oka question ki answer cheyochu and remember there are many theories behind the, the construction of curriculum okay curriculum construction gurinchi chaala theories unnai and we all uh, we will discuss those things in uh, future if possible but uh, here remember uh, when it comes to the curriculum design uh, we need to remember the curriculum design which is suggested by klein okay klein suggested that there are there are three approaches in curriculum design curriculum design lo three approaches unnai ani cheppadandi the very first approach is nothing but the uh, subject centered or syllabus centered okay syllabus centered approach ga cheppochu and uh, what is the first one the first one is the syllabus centered or subject centered okay syllabus centered or subject centered approach the second approach of curriculum design is the learner centered okay learner centered approach learner centered approach ga cheppochu curriculum design ki and the third one is the society centered approach okay society centered approach is the third approach for the syllabus design so klein suggested that there are three approaches to design curriculum and the first one is syllabus centered learner centered and society centered and these three are the approaches for curriculum design curriculum design lo ee mood approaches ni discuss cheyadam jarigindi cheppadam jarigindi okay so based on this information let us try to consolidate the differences between the syllabus and curriculum mari syllabus ki curriculum ku natvanti differences ni gurinchi mana ippudu detail ga discuss cheddam here if you look at uh, the syllabus and curriculum i hope this uh, picture is visible to you if you look at the first one meaning the words uh, syllabus syllabus is the document that contains the portion of the uh, topics 
కవర్డ్ ఇన్ ఏ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఒక సబ్జెక్ట్ లో భాగంగా మనం కవర్ చేయాల్సినటువంటి టాపిక్స్ ఉండే డాక్యుమెంట్ ని సిలబస్ గా చెప్పుకోవచ్చు సిలబస్ ఈజ్ ఏ డాక్యుమెంట్ దట్ కంటైన్స్ ద టాపిక్స్ దట్ ఆర్ కవర్ టు బి దట్ ఆర్ టు బి కవర్డ్ ఇన్ ఏ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఒక సబ్జెక్ట్ లో మనం కవర్ చేయాల్సిన టాపిక్స్ ఉండేటువంటి పేపర్ ని డాక్యుమెంట్ ని మనం ఏం చెప్పుకుంటాం వీ కాల్ ఇట్ సిలబస్ సిలబస్ అంటాం ఓకే అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ కరికులం కరికులం ఈజ్ అన్ ఓవరాల్ కాంటెంట్ టాట్ ఇన్ అన్ ఎడ్యుకేషనల్ సిస్టమ్ అర్ ఏ కోర్స్ ఒక కోర్స్ లో భాగంగా ఉండేటువంటి ప్రతి యాక్టివిటీ ఆల్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్సెస్ ఆర్ నథింగ్ బట్ ద కరికులం సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద ఫస్ట్ డిఫరెన్స్ అబౌట్ ద మీనింగ్ ఓకే మీనింగ్ గా చెప్పుకోవచ్చు సిలబస్ ఈజ్ ఏ లిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ స్పెసిఫిక్ టీచింగ్ ఐటమ్స్ వేర్ యాజ్ కరికులం ఈజ్ అన్ ఓవరాల్ ప్లాన్ దట్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ లర్నింగ్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ ఫర్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ దట్ ఇస్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ మీనింగ్ ఓకే అది మీనింగ్ గా చెప్పుకోవచ్చు అండ్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఆరిజిన్ ఇఫ్ యూ లుకెట్ ద ఆరిజిన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ సిలబస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఏ గ్రీక్ టర్మ్ సిలబస్ ఈజ్ ఏ గ్రీక్ టర్మ్ వేర్ యాజ్ కరికులం ఈజ్ ఏ లాటిన్ టర్మ్ కరికులం ని లాటిన్ టర్మ్ గా చెప్పుకుంటాము అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సెట్ ఫర్ కరికుల్ సిలబస్ ఈజ్ సెట్ ఫర్ ఏ సబ్జెక్ట్ అండ్ వీ నో కరికులం ఈజ్ సెట్ ఫర్ ఏ కోర్స్ ఓకే సిలబస్ అనేది కూడా ఎప్పుడు ఒక సబ్జెక్ట్ కి సెట్ అయి ఉంటుందండి ద కరికులం ఆఫ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ద కరికులం ఆఫ్ తెలుగు ద కరికులం ఆఫ్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ఎట్సెట్రా సో ఇట్ ఈస్ సెట్ ఫర్ ఓన్లీ వన్ స్పెసిఫిక్ సబ్జెక్ట్ వేర్ యాజ్ కరికులం ఈజ్ సెట్ ఫర్ ఓకే సో కరికులం ఈజ్ సెట్ ఫర్ ఎంటైర్ కోర్స్ ఓకే కోర్స్ మొత్తం కూడా ఎంటైర్ కోర్స్ ఉంటుంది సో వి సే ఇంగ్లీష్ సిలబస్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ సిలబస్ సోషల్ స్టడీస్ సిలబస్ mind we say the curriculum of school the curriculum of bed the curriculum of degree etc and uh, if you look at the nature the nature of syllabus is descriptive in nature it describes the course content course content ni describe chestu that's the reason we call it descriptive in nature but here the curriculum is prescriptive in nature it prescribes what is to be done by the teacher and what is to be done by the లర్నర్ సో టీచర్ లర్నర్ ఏం చేయాలో ప్రిస్క్రైబ్ చేస్తుంది దట్ ఈస్ అ రీజన్ వి సే కరికులం ఈజ్ ప్రిస్క్రిప్టివ్ ఇన్ నేచర్ సో కరికులం ఈజ్ డిస్క్రిప్టివ్ అండ్ కరికులం ఈజ్ ప్రిస్క్రిప్టివ్ సిలబస్ ఈజ్ డిస్క్రిప్టివ్ అండ్ స్కోప్ ఇఫ్ యూ లుక్ ఎట్ ద స్కోప్ ద స్కోప్ ఆఫ్ ద కరికులం ఈజ్ బ్రాడ్ because it deals with every aspect of the teaching learning process beginning from objectives ending with evaluation so objectives undi modalu pedthe evaluation varaki prathi stage involve avutundi kabatti the scope of curriculum is broad since uh, at the same time the scope of the syllabus is narrow because it deals with only the list of specific teaching items okay specific teaching items yokka dantone untundi ikkada and here a uh, set out by exam board syllabus is set out by some exam board whereas curriculum is set out by the government or administration of the state etc and if you look at the term this syllabus is for fixed term okay fixed ga untundi normally a year and here curriculum is till the course lasts course aipoya varaki curriculum untundi and if you look at uniformity it varies from teacher to teacher okay teacher to teacher uh, uniformity change avachu but when it comes to curriculum it is same for all the teachers and for all the institutions andar ki common ga undedi so these are the differences between the two terms curriculum and syllabus curriculum mariyu syllabus kunde atvanti important point ga cheppochu and remember dear aspirants when curriculum is designed it uh, is made sure that curriculum should be what flexible okay then elasticity of curriculum an cheptam if you look at some of the features of curriculum the main feature of curriculum is elasticity elasticity of curriculum antamu it means curriculum should not be rigid curriculum should not be rigid whenever there is a choice there should be a chance for the teacher to modify it according to the needs of the students that's the reason a curriculum should never be rigid okay there should be some flexibility to modify or change it that is one of the important features of curriculum we call it the elasticity of curriculum elasticity of curriculum an cheptamu and curriculum should always be learner centered 
learner centered in the sense many learning opportunities should be provided for the students to learn vidyarthi ki nerchukune atvanti avakashalni provide chestundi and it is based on the needs and interests of the learner learner yokka needs mariyu interest paina depend avutundi that is the reason we call it learner centered curriculum should always be considered learner centered learner centered ani cheppukovali and it should have a totality of experiences totality of experience ani cheptamu because it should include all the teaching learning experiences okay anni experience ni kalsi untundi kabatti one more important thing is totality of experience tar undali and principle of interest should also should be there principle of interest is nothing but whenever the students learn as a part of the course it should create interest amongst them to learn and to realize the objectives that is called the principle of interest principle of interest an cheptunamu so principle of elasticity of curriculum principle of uh, principle of learner centeredness principle of totality of experiences and also the principle of principle of interest an cheptunamu and the next principle in this curriculum is principle of correlation with other subjects the sub curriculum the subject of one curriculum should have a correlation with other subjects and this is uh, these are the five main principles in the curriculum construction curriculum construction lo ee five principles ni manam gurtu pettukovali and uh, this is all about the general introduction class to curriculum idi curriculum ki sambandhinchatvanti introductory class ga cheptuntam manam and after this we have to learn the theories of curriculum design and the process of curriculum development and the scope of curriculum curriculum yokka scope enti and what are the recommendations of the different position papers curriculum frameworks and also the uh, ncft rt even nep ivi syllabus and curriculum sambandhinchina recommendations em chesayi ivanni kuda manam discuss cheyalasi untundi and when we learn all these things we will be in a position to answer those 6 to 8 questions manam exam lo adagaboye ఆరు నుండి ఎనిమిది క్వశ్చన్స్ కి ఆన్సర్ చేయడానికి అవకాశం ఉంటుంది సో బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద క్లాస్ దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్ సో ఫార్ లెట్ అస్ ట్రై టు ఆన్సర్ అ ఫ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ దట్ వర్ ఆస్క్డ్ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ఇంతకు ముందు ఎగ్జామినేషన్ లో అడిగిన కొన్ని క్వశ్చన్స్ మనం ఆన్సర్ చేద్దాం ద వెరీ ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఏ ప్లాన్ విచ్ ఇన్క్లూడ్స్ ఆబ్జెక్టివ్స్ ఆఫ్ టీచింగ్స్ మెథడ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ టెక్స్ట్ బుక్స్ టీచింగ్ లెర్నింగ్ మెటీరియల్ గైడెన్స్ అండ్ కౌన్సిలింగ్ tutorial science seminars learning experiences so it is nothing but totality of experiences ee totality of experience unde plan ni em ani cheptunnaru adigaru so it is very simple manam inta sepu class vina tarvata chaala easy ga dinni answer cheyochu so first option course book curriculum syllabus and teachers handbook what do we call it dinni em ani pilustamu it is nothing but curriculum okay dani manam curriculum ga cheptunnam jarugutundi that is the first question and the second question what makes the curriculum a comprehensive design manam indaka cheptunnam curriculum ni comprehensive design antam ani enduku antamu this is also a previous question idi kuda gatha examination lo adiginatvanti prashne so why do we call it a comprehensive design which gives adequate knowledge of english and other relevant subjects which states everything clearly what a student is expected to do in the course from the beginning to the end manam indaga chusam kada oka bd student oka bd course ki admission admission koraku apply cheyadam nundi modalu perthe chivarki bd certificate teeskune varaki vaadu chese atvandi prathi activity kuda endulo bhagam avutundi that is a part of curriculum that is a reason we call it a comprehensive design and that is a reason second one is the appropriate answer to this question idi okay second question uh, diniki answer ga cheppochu this is also a previous bit and the next one is assertion and reasoning is given assertion and reasoning question language is a child's socio cultural construct okay uh, child socio cultural construct ani cheptunamu and uh, reason is language curriculum reflects socio cultural context 
सो मरी लांग्वेज अने सोशो कलचर कंस्ट्रक्ट लांग्वेज करिकुलम दिन कंस्ट्रक्ट चेयर सो हियर एंड आर आर् ट्रू अंड आर् द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेन अंड इन करेक्ट एक्सप्लेन अच्छा सो फस्ट वन इज द करेक्ट वन बोथ आफ् दम आर् करेक्ट अंड आर् इज करेक्ट एक्सप्लेन सिंस लांग्वेज इज ए चाइल सोशो कलचरल कंस्ट्रक्ट लांग्वेज करिकुलम शुड आलो रिफ्लैक्ट दट कंस्ट्रक्ट दिन कंस्ट्रक्ट चाहिए अंड वी वि टाकिंग अबउट दिश का इन द थिरी बिहड द फिलासफी बिहड द करिकुलम कंस्ट्रक्षन दाग मन का बोत इन द गिवे स्टेट वट इज नाट करेक्ट अबउट करिकुलम डिजाइन सो करिकुलम डिजाइन की संबंधी रांग स्टेट मन इप्वर की डिस्कसे सो प्रीविय क्वेश्चन मन आसर चेदा सो नाट करेक्ट अना इन करेक्ट अना करिकुलम ईज ओवराल अंड कांप्रहेव प्ला इपड़की ट्वेंटी टाइम्स मन इवे वर्ड ओवराल कांप्रहेव सो इट इज ए कामनली यूज वर्ड ओके सो दट इज करेक्ट इट इज अडमिस्ट्रेटिव इन नेचर विदउट ignoring the academic inputs so we know that curriculum is administrative in nature we have uh, uh, syllabus is academic in nature so this is also correct it is separate or exclusive for each institution it is the base or foundation man cheptunnam kada it is a base or foundation of the education an cheptunnam curriculum is the base or foundation an cheptinappudu syllabus is the superstructure le the actual building an cheptunnam so that is the reason fourth one is also the correct statement mana ivi moodu kuda cover chestunnama leda and the third one is the incorrect statement it is not separate for each institution oko institution ki separate ga undadam jaragadu ikkada so it is uh, uh, what same and uh, curriculum development can be perceived as there are four stages in curriculum development we will be talking about uh, the in the next classes tarvata class lo discuss chestamu the very first one is uh, design design is the first one and the second one is implementation okay implementation and third one is evaluation evaluation and fourth one is renewal fourth one is renewal so these are the four uh, concepts okay we four concepts ga manam cheptuntamu curriculum development lo so design implementation evaluation and renewal we will be talking about these four stages in the next class tarvata class lo manam discuss chestamu so ee sari questions different ga adugochu they may ask the question which is the important step in curriculum development curriculum development lo important step id nalugu unnai nalugitlo edi important ante implementation is the important step implementation adi mukhyamainduga cheptochu and a question may be asked what is the other name for evaluation in curriculum development evaluation ki unnatundi maroka peru enti nadagachu the other name for evaluation in curriculum development is program evaluation em ani cheptuntam andi evaluation ni program evaluation ani cheptuntam program evaluation and uh, renewal gurinchi kuda adagochandi what is the stage where uh, we get the feedback about curriculum curriculum ki sambandhinchi feedback icche atuvanti stage edi ani adagochu that is the stage called renewal stage in the renewal stage we get a feedback about curriculum renewal stage lo curriculum ki sambandhinchi feedback ostundi and we may ask uh, we may ask one more question at what levels do we get feedback as a part of the renewal renewal ane stage lo any stages lo manaku feedback ostundante okay during mid course or at the end of the course okay course middle lo manam feedback teesukochu and at the end of the course also we can get the feedback and we can renew uh, the syllabus for the next academic year or next course తర్వాత కోర్స్ లో దాన్ని మాడిఫై చేసుకుంటాము సో టూ స్టేजेस ఆర్ టూ లెవెల్స్ లో మనం ఫీడ్‌బ్యాక్ తీసుకుంటాము రెన్యువల్ స్టేజ్ లో సో దిస్ ఆర్ ద ఫోర్ స్టెప్స్ దట్ ఆర్ देयर ఇన్ ద ప్రాసెస్ ఆఫ్ కరికులం డెవలప్‌మెంట్ కరికులం డెవలప్‌మెంట్ లో ఉన్నటువంటి స్టెప్స్ గా చెప్పుకోవచ్చు అండ్ హియర్ క్లెయిన్ ఇన్ ద ఇయర్ 1985 డిజైన్డ్ త్రీ డిజైన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫర్ కరికులం కరికులం లో త్రీ డిజైన్స్ చెప్పాడు సో వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ డస్ నాట్ బిలాంగ్ టు దట్ వి హావ్ టు ఐడెంటిఫై దట్ వన్ first one is subject centered curriculum society centered curriculum 
सिलेबस सेंटर्ड करिकुलम और स्टूडेंट सेंटर्ड करिकुलम सो इन दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग सिलेबस सेंटर्ड करिकुलम इज नॉट देयर वी हैव सब्जेक्ट सेंटर्ड करिकुलम सब्जेक्ट सेंटर्ड करिकुलम ఉంది सो दीस आर द सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस ऑन द कांसेप्ट ऑफ करिकुलम एंड इफ वी रीड एंड अंडरस्टैंड दीस टॉपिक्स थरोली ఇదివరకు ఏదైతే నేను చెప్పానో ఆ టాపిక్స్ అన్ని కూడా జాగ్రత్తగా మనం చదివినట్లయితే ఇట్ ఈస్ ఈజీ టు గెట్ ఫుల్ స్కోర్ ఇన్ దిస్ సబ్జెక్ట్ దీంట్లో మార్క్స్ స్కోర్ చేయడం చాలా ఈజీగా చెప్పుకోవచ్చు ఓకే నా లెటెస్ట్ టేక్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ దట్ హ్యావ్ బిన్ ఆస్క్డ్ ఇన్ ఇన్ ద యూట్యూబ్ మీరు అడిగినటువంటి క్వశ్చన్స్ ఒకసారి మనం ఉంటే తీసుకుందాం అండ్ వీఆర్ ఆల్సో గోయింగ్ టు హ్యావ్ Uh, meanwhile we will be also talking about uh, some other topics manam uh, next video lo if possible we will be talking about the preparation plan of uh, paper 2 okay paper 3 language and literature sambandhinchi kuda manam inkemana suggestions unte meedanlo chudandi idi okay so we will be talking about uh, those things in further classes okay tarvata classes lo manam uh, discuss cheddam and uh, let us take uh, the doubts from you okay when the doubts not like they post change definitely i'll be trying to answer you right uh, give that more bye so i'll be waiting for your uh, queries if possible try to post them uh, quickly yeah so change and uh, uh, in the next video if possible we will be doing the video or uh, lecture on paper 3 language and literature how to prepare for language and literature so ee rendu areas ni ela uh, prepare avali preparation strategy and important concepts ivanni kuda manam uh, discuss chestuntamu okay so uh, is it ready yeah if you have any uh, queries you please post them and i'll be trying to answer you uh, right so grammar classes uh, gurinchi so we will be trying to do that next class date and time so we will be posting the date and time of next class in advance tapakunda next class yoka date and time meku in advance ga cheptamu uh, no problem and uh, the next question is uh, make the videos in a logical order so i'll be trying to do that hmm? so make the remaining videos on pedagogy of english so already the entire course is available in uh, sns application total entire course 10 units so much the course available undi uh, with detailed explanation and also the question papers okay question papers discussion kuda undi and uh, so these are the questions i know specific questions are asked on subject subject sambandhinchi questions emi adagaledu right uh, if you have any questions on this topic you can uh, post the questions later also under the comment section we will be trying to answer you so this is uh, the concept uh, introduction to curriculum as a part of today's live class we discussed the concept of uh, curriculum and its introduction introduction part cheppukodam jarigindi and if you want more classes on uh, the entire pedagogy of english language purchase the course and on sns application and it is titled with the pedagogy of english language right thank you so much and uh, let us meet in the next live class